Hey everyone, Pastor Matt here. I don't know about you, but discipline has been somewhat of a challenge during this time at home. I found myself staying up too late, sometimes to one o'clock in the morning, which means sleeping too late. I haven't been eating well. Lots of us have gained what I'm calling the pandemic pooch. Uh, maybe your Bible reading and prayer life has suffered and potentially your health as well. And it's interesting that as we get more time, extra time, some of us a lot of extra time, we actually become less disciplined. Paul, the Apostle Paul, is writing to his young protege, Timothy, and he's giving him some advice in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. And he says, physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better because it promises benefits in this life and the life to come. There's really two things that are important here as we look at this verse. One, physical training. Paul says that it's good. Our body is the temple of God. We need to eat right. That means no late night cookies. Uh, go for a walk daily. Do something physical. The second more important thing is training for godliness, which is benefits, he says, in this life and for eternity. So I wanna give you a couple of practical recommendations uh, to practice during this time. One, set your Bible out by your bed. Set your alarm for a certain time every morning, get up, spend 20 minutes reading God's word and in prayer. Do that every day. The second would be to, to keep your tennis shoes visible, right? As just a reminder to do something physical. Uh, maybe you're like me, maybe you've been spending too much time on social media. One of the things that I've seen is all these clickbait articles, and, and one of them talked specifically, and the headline was, this person did this for 30 days, and it changed their life. This person did 100 push-ups a day for 30 days, it changed their life. Here's my promise. Be in God's Word for 30 days, do something physical for 30 days, and it will change your life. Physically, and more importantly, spiritually. And just know that we miss you. We can't wait till we can all gather back together. Uh, we love you. We're praying for you. If we can help you in any way, go to our website, missioncity.church, and click on the forward button. And uh, you can let us know of whatever need or prayer request that you have. Someone will contact you personally. Uh, we want to be able to keep up with each other. So again, praying for you, miss you, love you. Can't wait till we can all be back together. God bless.